So there are a couple of ways to create reliable tattoos from a technical standpoint and the most reliable is the bleb or saline bleb method in which you first put a bleb of saline in the submucosa and then inject the tattoo into that bleb. And the advantage of this is that you're going to reliably or more reliably get the tattoo into the submucosa because you don't have to search for the submucosal space with the needle. So this is a demonstration of this uh, bleb, saline bleb technique. We're using saline here to make uh, four quadrants of uh, bleb and now uh, later we're actually starting the tattooing process and we weren't quite deep enough there but you can see we're not going to go too deep probably because we're putting the needle into that submucosal bleb of saline then injecting uh, one ml of tattoo into uh, that saline bleb and then we just go around and go uh, into the four uh, blebs and put an ml of tattoo in there so this is the the bleb technique or that's what I call this uh, this technique and really it's the most reliable for getting the tattoo into the submucosal space which of course is uh, is our goal. So in the previous two videos we demonstrated the bleb first or the saline bleb first uh, technique which is really the most reliable way to get the tattoo or the mark into the submucosal space. If you're more experienced, if you've done this quite a bit, I think it's fine to use a direct technique where you don't put a saline bleb in first rather you just uh, inject the tattoo directly. The keys to this are to try to get tangential to the wall. So you are got as little on FOSS injection as you can. Here you can see we're using an upper scope and this approach for this next injection is pretty tangential. That's going to be helpful to us. So we're going to poke and get into the submucosal space. Then once we do that, we want to pull back on the needle and bend the needle toward the lumen hopefully seeing the shape of the needle in the submucosa then inject initially very slowly to make sure that a bleb forms and then put in a full uh, cc of injection and we can repeat this four or five times around the tumor just distal uh, to the site so we've described two methods here of technique the first one really the most uh, reliable one for getting into the submucosa was the bleb technique and then this is the direct uh, injection uh, technique. Perhaps for more experienced um, uh, injectors, for more experienced uh, markers. At this point, this injection is relatively on FOSS. That's less attractive. But again, if you are in an on FOSS position, poke your way into the submucosa, then pull back on the needle. You'd like to see the shape of the needle actually through the mucosa. Uh, there it is and then start the injection slowly so that you're making sure that the bleb is forming in the submucosa and then you can continue with a full cc of uh, injection and I think either of these uh, techniques is acceptable uh, especially with this direct technique um, having some uh, experience with making sure that the needle is actually in the submucosa is useful before you start doing this. Here you can see the needle's not in quite deep enough, so we'll try poking again. We'd like to see maybe half or more of the needle um, through the mucosa, and then the key thing is to lift up toward the lumen, see the shape of the needle, and then make the uh, injection. This is the, the other, the direct technique. The technical goal of the injection is to get the tattoo into the submucosal space. Material in the submucosa will be visible both at subsequent endoscopic follow-up or from the peritoneal cavity during surgery. We want to avoid transmural injection into the omentum or other organs. It looks sloppy and it's potentially misleading during surgery. You can see from this photograph taken during surgery the dark stain near the surgeon's thumb. This is from a properly placed submucosal tattoo during colonoscopy and it's easily visible on the serosal surface and from the peritoneal cavity during surgery. This slide summarizes some of the key technical details we've discussed in the videos in terms of how much to inject and how to inject it for both the saline bleb technique and the direct injection technique.